a contractor undertook to complete a project in 90 days and employed 60 men on it. After 60 days, he found that three-fourth of the work has already been completed. How many men can he discharge so that the project may be completed exactly on time? So you can approach this question in two ways. Okay, you can use the normal unitary method that we use to solve this question. Otherwise, you can also use the LCM method. Okay, so I am going to try to solve this question using the LCM method. What has the contractor done? See, he has to complete the work in 90 days and he has employed 60 men to do the work and this 60 men are actually now working for 60 days and after working for 16 days what have they done they have finished three fourth of the work so how much of the work is remaining only one fourth of the work is remaining now what is the contractor doing he is basically going to ask some of these men out of the 60 men he is going to ask some men to go because only a little a lesser number of men are required to finish the remaining one fourth of the work on Time. that is this remaining one fourth of the work has to be finished in 30 days correct because it is given here that the total work has to be completed in 90 days out of this 60 days already 60 men have worked so remaining this one fourth of the work has to be completed in 30 days and for this completing this one fourth of the work in 30 days I actually don't require 60 men I require only lesser number of men so what I have to see is that uh, I just have to see uh, how many people are going okay out of this 60 men so let us see see i am going to assume here that one man okay i am assuming that one man in one day will do one unit of work okay so if i assume that in one man in one day will do one unit of work then i can say that 60 men in 60 days in how many units of work will they do 60 men in 60 days will do 3600 units of work now what is given here by completing this 3600 units they have already completed three-fourth of the work so if i say that the total work is x units right three-fourth of this total work the number that is three-fourth of the total number of units that the total work constitutes that is equal to 3600 or i can say x is equal to 3600 into 4 by 3 or that is equal to 4800 units so what does this mean see the total work the number of units for the total work is 4800 units out of this 3600 units is finished how many units is remaining 4800 minus 3600 so 4800 minus 3600 you know is 1200 or i can say 1200 units of work is remaining and this has to be completed in 30 days so 1200 units to be completed in 30 days means how many units should be completed in one day? 40 units should be completed in one day. So to complete 40 units in one day, how many men are required? 40 men are required. So now how many men do I have? I have 60 men with me. So I can ask 20 men to go so that the work can still be completed on time. So how many men can go? 20 men can go. Okay, so this is the uh, easy way of solving the question. So I will also uh, teach you the other method to solve it. I hope this method is clear. This is actually the easier way or the smarter way of solving the question. Okay. See what did I do? Actually 90 days is the time required to complete the project. 60 men are working for 60 days and finishing 3 fourth of the work. So I am assuming that one man in one day will do one unit of work. So 60 men in 60 days can do 3600 units of work or 3 by 4th of the total number of units of work is equal to 3600 so what is 1 by so what is x x is equal to 4800 units now once i got x i find out how much is remaining so the total number of units for the work is 4800 out of which we have finished 3600 so the remaining units of work to be completed is 4800 minus 3600 that is 1200 this has to be completed in 30 days so in one day how much work will be completed 1200 divided by 30 that is equal to 40 units so 40 units have to be completed in one day how many men are required to complete that 40 men so how many men can i leave 20 men so that is the correct answer for this question see the other way if you uh, if you are comfortable not comfortable with this lcm method you can always use the uh, unitary method that we uh, use generally okay so the other method to approach this question is like this if you have if i say that 60 men in 60 days okay they are completing how much of the work they are doing three-fourth of the 
work now uh, in uh, one day okay one man in one day how much of the work will he complete one man in one day will complete 3 by 4 into 60 into 60 correct now i have how many men i have i am going to discharge 30 um, x x number of men okay out of the 60 men i am going to ask x men to go so how many men do i have remaining i have only 60 minus x men so if in one day one man can do so much of the work 60 minus x men okay in one day how much work will they do in one day they will do 1 by 4 into 30 Correct. Now, how am I saying uh, 1 by 4 into 30? See, this 60 minus X men, okay, they are working for 30 days to finish 1 by 4th of the work. So, I can say that in one day, okay, this 60 minus X men will do 1 by 4 into 30th of the work. From this point, you can equate and find out the answer. See, this is using the unitary method. It is given here 60 men in 60 days can do three-fourth of the work. Okay. So, one man in one day can do 3 by 4 into 60 into 60th of the work. Now, see what is happening. Out of the 60 men, X men I am asking to go. So, how many men I have remaining? I have only 60 minus X men remaining. So, this 60 minus X men will take 30 days to complete one fourth of the work. Is this clear? 60 minus X men will take 30 days to complete one fourth of the work or I can say 60 minus X men in one day will do 1 by 4 into 30th of the work. Right? In 30 days they will do 1 by 4th. That means in one day they will do 1 by 4 into 30th of the work. Right? So that is how I am writing this now i know one man in one day can do how much 3 by 4 into 60 into 60 so 60 minus x men in one day can do how much i am just writing it in terms of this see one man in one day can do 3 by 4 into 60 into 60 so 60 minus x men in one day can do 3 into 60 minus x by 4 into 60 into 60 here, I have already got that 60 men in one day can do so much work. I am equating that to this. Solve it. You will still get x is equal to 20. So, this is the other way in which you solve it. Alright.